Hello everyone. Welcome, this video will show you a basic instruction guide on how to use our 3D models in Blender. Once you purchase the model and download it, go to the folder where you downloaded the model file and extract the file which is in zip format, use the program of your choice, 7-zip, WinRAR. After extracting the contents of the zip file, as shown in the video, enter the folder to view the contents, the Blender files and the folder with the textures in Targa format. Attention, first check which compatible version the model requires. If the model is compatible with Blender 3.6, it is recommended to use the same version of the Blender program to avoid errors and problems in the model. Wait for the model to open. It may take a while. Once the model opens and loads it should appear like this. This layout is for viewing the model, the bones are hidden. Change the 3D view full layout to the pose layout, and notice that in this layout we already have the model's bones visible. Clothes and hair do not have physics, they move automatically, the movement of the bones is manual. Shape keys are controlled by the bones displayed in this panel. All our models are made with MetaRig and have this panel to show and hide bones. Please note that all facial expressions work correctly, all our models are tested before being added to the store. Now let's switch to the default layout to better manipulate the bones. Now I will teach you how to reset to pose A. To reset the pose of a 3D model's bones to pose a in Blender, follow these steps. Select the armature. In object mode, select the armature object, skeleton, of your 3D model. Go to pose mode. Press tab to enter pose mode, where you can manipulate the bones. Select all bones. Press A to select all bones. Clear transforms, return to original pose. Press Alt plus G to reset the position of each bone. Press Alt plus R to reset the rotation of the bones. Press Alt plus S to reset the scale of the bones. Return to Resting Pose, Pose A. With all bones selected, go to the top menu, choose Pose a Clear Transform, all to restore the original pose, Pose A, of the model. After these steps, the model will return to Pose A or the resting pose that was set as default. You can easily close your hand with these finger bones, or you can also move the phalanges individually. This is already the IK controller bone, if it is turned off the arm will not move. The arm will only move by the FK bone. To use the arm IK controller, simply activate it in the MetaRig panel, as demonstrated in the video, assigning the value 0. It is also possible to activate the arm stretch option in the properties by changing the value from 0 to 1000. To go back to being controlled by FK, simply set it to the value 1000 again. The controlling bones of the legs work the same way, there is the FK and IK bone and they can be changed in the properties. This bone controls eye movement and can also be scaled to increase or decrease. As with the arms and legs, you can also change the settings for the eyes in the properties panel.